hello various Fimpossible creations and this is tutorial for using optimizers package. I will show you how to make this scene from about 24 millions of trees to use just 13. And there will be no changes in look. Just check it. Most of the performance will come from optimizing lights, shadows, optimizing meshes a bit and particle systems. First let me show you this scene. I had a bit alternative approach for this, because most of the models are created when game starts. Then it looks like this. So I using components which are duplicating objects and placing them on ground. Ok, now let's start optimizing. At first we will optimize particle systems. It's just simple dust which is flowing up. Inside this particle system is another, the same but with ribbons and lower emission. Shape of this particle system is small, but when game starts there is created a lot of them. So we can control intensity of these particles using distance and visibility. Let's add basic optimizer to this object, setting optimize method to static. Let's adjust size and position of detection sphere. When this sphere is visible in scene view, object will be visible. If not, it will be hidden. Let's set component to have three level of details. Adjust distance ranges. I think automatic settings are just alright. So if camera is in this blue area, intensity of particles will be multiplied by dot six. Ok, it's ready. Now let's optimize these flying lights. And these lights are causing very big number of trees. Shadows can multiply this count. And we can use optimizers to disable shadows smoothly when they are not needed so much. Or change mode from soft to hard. Also changing importance of the light can save some performance. Component automatically adjusted size of detection sphere to the light. Because object is moving, I left here optimizing method effective. Let's adjust the level of detail count, distances, somewhere around here and here. There we can specify settings for different LOD levels. But for my case, automatic settings are just right. I only have to adjust some distance values. I think it will be working. We'll do the same for the prefab because I noticed that I have also prefab of the similar object. So I will quickly do this again. Now I will optimize some mesh renderers. It's not so much necessary because Unity is handling optimizing meshes very nice. But when you have meshes with a lot of polygons, optimizers can do a bit. Let's add optimizer to this object. Detection sphere is adjusted automatically by using mesh. Let me adjust distances. This object have added tail animator and it's animating this underwater floaty animation. When it comes to second level of detail, I will disable tail animator. But at first level of detail, I will also disable shadows. Adjust a bit more and it's ready. Now I will do the same on few other models, which are duplicated later when game starts. Adjusting distances. Adjust detection sphere position and scale. And scene is ready. Let's see how many polygons now we have. And it's around 50 millions. Nothing changed in look. And it's working smoother. Now I will again disable all optimizers to check difference again. And yeah, there is 25, 24 millions of polygons. So using optimizers, we have about 10 million less polygons to draw. And that's all for this tutorial. If you have some questions, please write comments. 
If you need other tutorials for optimizers, please let me know. And I hope you learned something. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.